Hi guys, Poundland today. This is their Easter stock, or one of their items on their Easter stock. Pressing chick. And you squeeze him. It must have a flywheel motor in there, I reckon. Come on. There we go. Something like that. I was interested enough to buy it. One pound forty GBP. A good selection of other prices there. Yeah, I was interested enough to buy it just to see how it works. Produced for Pepco, Poland. Or for Poundland. Yeah, I'll see if I can get a close up of that. Yeah, I reckon some sort of flywheel motor. So we'll take it apart and have a look. I was tempted to buy a couple of them and race them, but I didn't. <laughs> I thought one's enough. We can have a look inside it. See how it works. Want to come apart? Yeah, that's going to come apart. Looks like we've got to separate the top as well. Oh, no, no, that has come off okay. Right, there's our mechanism. But I'm not seeing a flywheel in it. That's disappointing. It's just the spring action. We'll go a bit closer, I think. So we've got a, a rack there, I think you call it, when you've got a load of gear teeth in a straight line. And then we've got the spring there. And then we've got few gears in there. Oh, that's going to come off as well. I expect a bit of gentle persuasion. That'll pop up. Yeah. That makes it a bit easier to see then. So yeah, we can see the, the rack. We can see the spring inside. So we push that down and as we release it, spinning the wheels so there must be a a gear there that disengages it as you push it down and only engages when you release so we can have a look at that couldn't we see if we can see it looks if i leap Looks like if I lever that very gently, we might even be able to get that to pop out. Yeah. Okay, that's easy enough to see. So one of those gears in there somewhere must be able to slip sideways. Yeah, we can see there's a little slot there so the gear can move up and down. So it only engages when it's in one direction. That there is the shaft of one of the gears. So I expect if we pull it apart, get the wheel off. Yeah, we can get a wheel off. It's all coming apart quite easily. 
Okay, lift that off gently. So that one would be sitting on there. So that's the one that engages the in focus. Oh, focus, yeah. So that's our rack of teeth. They engage that gear. That turns that one. Yeah. And then the outer side of that one engages that one. Well, not actually that one. It engages the, the smaller side of that one. Let's lift that out so we can see it. Yeah. So that gear gear there engages those teeth there. And then those teeth there engage those teeth there on the back axle. And that is the one. I can hold it still for a few seconds. That is the one that can slide up and down. Is it? No, it's the other one. That's the one that can slide up and down to engage when it's being pushed in one direction and disengage when it's pushed in the opposite direction. Keep your fingers there. Yeah, there, that can slide up and down in that oval shaped slot there. So when you when you push that down, you push that down, it's actually disengaged, it actually slips away from the gear that drives the wheels or drives the axle with the wheels on it. And when you release it and it goes back up again, that gear moves down and makes contact with the teeth on the other gear. Oh, it's all going to fall out, which we don't really want to happen. I'll just try and explain that again. So as you push down here, that gear turns that way. And the action of it turning that way is actually lifting this gear up away from that gear. And then when you release the plunger and it's going back up that way, it's turning in that direction. And that is naturally pushing that one down. So it, make, it engages that gear. When it engages that gear, it turns that gear and that gear is the one on the shaft that has the wheels on it. I like it. Nice, simple, and it clearly works. Can we figure out how to get it back together? Oh, you can see that slot quite a bit easier there now. Oval shaped slot. All we've got to do is get all the gears to line up as we slide it back together. One of them is not in. Which one's not in? That one. Poke it over a little bit. There we go. That's back together. That's back in. So I can hold that and push that down and it's not a problem. But if I release it, it can't go until I let go of the wheel. Because as it's pushing up, it's pushing that gear down, making or engaging the gear on the axle. You can probably see that 
probably see that moving up and down as I'm doing it. Yeah. Okay, I'll put it back together. And send it to a charity shop. Oh, missed. <laughs> right, okay, put the screws back in, zoom back out again. Yeah, fun, interesting. Didn't get that quite right. That's better. That'll do. It works. So thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe, leave us a comment so I know I'm doing, and somewhere up here there'll be some links to related playlists, thanks again.